Nice. All right, we've got uh, a couple other people on hold here. Kevin in Killen, Alabama. How are you? How y'all doing? Doing well. How are doing you? Well. you? You have a, qu a question that might relate in part to the last call. Oh, my. Yeah, I heard that. I mean, I don't know whether to think it's just frustrating to listen to that or just downright funny. It, maybe both. <laughs> it's it, actually it's sad, and yeah. the, for the, I know people will pull out highlight clips of this, and oh look, Matt goes on another epic rant and smacks down whatever, <laughs> uh, and that's not the purpose. I just can't stand dishonesty, and I can't stand people oh, uh, who are going to come in and say no, uh, no, 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 you just don't understand the Bible, you, you don't understand yeah, I this. Completely understand. It is frustrating. Yep. So what do you, what, what, what was the question? Basically. What I was going to talk about was uh, whenever you get into a debate with Christians, they always want to throw out everything in the Old Testament as soon as you bring up, oh, well, you believe in God. But what about parts of the Bible where it says where it says to kill unruly children, own his slaves and all that? They just want to completely throw that out. Yeah. I actually did a video, and, I, and th there's a video on my Atheist Debates Patreon called, But That's the Old Testament. Uh, which addresses this in great detail because they can't throw out the entirety of the Old of Testament course. because the, in the Old Testament is the creation of the world, uh, original, original sin, sin, which is the only reason there's a New Testament to begin with. So, and, and oh, by the way, every prophecy that they think Jesus fulfilled. So re really they're not throwing out the Old Testament. They're throwing out the parts of the Old Testament that are inconvenient. Yeah, as uh, who was it, Jeff D., the said one time it's the big book of multiple choice is that him that said that i think that's don baker's line oh, I <laughs> yeah i actually could emailed, be either. uh the i actually emailed the aca a couple of days ago and asked somebody to send me a link to the parts of the bible that actually says all of it the where you had quoted before that not a jot or tittle of the law will change and he actually sent me a link to that yeah, i think don did and i saw a lot of and I saw a lot of them verses, and every version of the Bible that it showed on that link that he sent me, pretty much every one of them was saying the exact same thing. As what? Basically what you said, that uh, oh, yeah. nothing will change until all has come to pass. I, I, I saw your email, Kevin, and please, oh, please, <laughs> please do not take this the wrong way. Uh, I'm happy that Don sent you a link. But this message is for everybody else out there. If you send me an email saying, please send me information on this, and I could literally cut and paste your question into Google and find the answer, I'm not going to Google it for you. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> but yeah, yeah that, it, that was my mistake. It's a common, uh, and it's, it's probably something we should consider doing. Um, Granted, I would, I, years, years ago, I, I, I created and, and uh, Russell helped flesh out the beginnings of uh, ironchariots.org, which is counter-apologetics wiki, but even before that, infidels.org, which I mentioned, there are countless resources, resources out there, and maybe it would be a good idea to add to the frequently asked questions for the show uh, links to resources, infidels.org, Skeptics Annotated Bible, my Atheist Debates videos, uh, ironchariots.org, stuff like that, so that people would, would have quick access to resources. Oh, yeah. And um, I would say that the reason why I didn't look it up myself was because at the time that I sent him the email, you know, I was doing some research on some other things as well, so I didn't really have time at the at the point that I asked him that, but he did help me learn that information quicker. Another thing I wanted to talk to you about, though, I, I've watched countless episodes of the Atheist Experience in the past, and I, and I swear, you're, I think you're my favorite host or character on this show. I love it. A character? I would oh, say, Phil, you're a character? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> well, I'm not even my favorite uh, person on this show. but. Uh, I just like I just like how you're honest and you're not afraid to tell how it is. That's why I like you best. Well, thank you very much. But, and I'll honestly but, uh, tell you that saying you don't have time, it took more time to write the email. Write the email, right? I was I was I was since, gonna say it since you like, like the oh, honesty. Man. I'm gonna try and get to a couple more <laughs> yeah. theist calls before we're done here today, Kevin. But <laughs> right, I, I, I do got, appreciate it, right, and I'm got, glad you got, got an answer. I do got one more thing though, right quick. Okay. I'll make it real mm -hmm. quick. Um, I don't like how whenever it comes to atheists and Christians, they don't like it when you try to push your belief on them, but just like how y'all said in the past, they like to try to legislate all their beliefs on 
on you. Yep. So I really think it, I, I really love how y'all are fighting the system like that. And I agree with you completely. I will never vote to take away the religious right of somebody else because I'm a firm believer in the Constitution. But I do think that it should be done in your own personal time and not in public against everybody else's will. And that's all I have. Well, I'm, okay. Thanks. I, I will say that there's a couple different connotations of in public, and I'm perfectly fine with people expressing their religion in public and on public property, just not in a permanent sense, like the Ten Commandments monument should not be at the state capitol, no matter what the Supreme Court says, because they just made shit up uh, and, and decided, oh, this one's been around for a long time, so we'll allow it, and this one hasn't, so we'll remove it. Right. It, it was bizarre. Um, I also think the politicians don't have to check their religion at the door when they become elected. They just don't get to rely on their religion in decision making and they don't get to promote their religion because they're in office. But, you know, if the governor wants to pray every morning, he can pray. If he wants to have a prayer meeting every morning, he can do that as long as he's inviting people. If he wants to require a prayer in the morning, hell no. Now, there's, there's a limit. To, and, and I think that Kevin is on board with this, and I think probably everybody watching is on board, that your religious freedom ends when it begins impacting others. And I just want to make it clear that I'm not opposed, you know, if somebody wants to have a, and they, and they do, the National Day of Prayer. Yeah. They'll have the National Day of Prayer, they'll go to the Capitol, they'll have a big... Hoorah. And, yeah. Okay. Congratulations. Yeah. You get to do that as long as that space is available to other people equally. So that when we want to have the pro-science for Heli, when we want to have the Pride Festival, when we want to have the secular humanism trumps all of your garbage religious dogma day, mm -hmm. we can do all of those things on the steps of the Capitol as well. As long as the public land, the public property, is truly public, and we're, we're fair about how we make sure we distribute that, and we're not showing favoritism and privilege to religious individuals or organizations. Or specific it's fine. religions. Yeah. Uh, specific, like the ones that will do a prayer before a city council meeting, so to speak, and, but they won't allow someone from uh, you know, the satanic temple, uh, satanic temple to actually give a sermon. They'll stop it altogether, for yep. example, or try to delay it or whatever else. It's just yeah. once, once you start crossing that barrier when you say, oh, you want to be fair to everyone, but as soon as someone else comes in that kind of challenges that you're either deny them, uh, try to take away the entire program altogether, like handing out uh, religious um, things at schools, which yep. shouldn't, shouldn't be done in the first place. But if one is going to do it, let everyone do it. But as soon as the Satanic Temple came with some nice coloring books yep. <laughs> in there, all of a, all sudden, of a sudden it's like, oh, you know, we, we can't have this. We just can't have this right here. Then, then why was it okay in the first place? There, there is, a, even there is one that. caveat. And this was brought up with regard to religious monuments on mm. state grounds, that they're okay as long as they're part of a broader secular um, Thing. Like, you can have your Ten Commandments monument if you allowed similar space. Here's the problem with that. There's a limited amount of space on that capital ground. There are countless religions and countless organizations that should have the freedom to put up their monuments as well. And what we would end up with is a capital ground that is covered with monuments from every organization, no grass, and you still wouldn't have enough room for everybody. So it may be that the fairest thing to do is to not allow any religious organization or non-religious organization that is focused on these issues to put up anything. That Sometimes that's going to be the only way to implement fairness. But it's not just about specific religions. You can't show favoritism for religion over irreligion or non-religion. And the, there, was, there was one other thing you said that I, I, I wanted to clarify, but I've forgotten and there's callers waiting. Okay. <laughs> so we'll just move on to a couple more callers. By the way, when the show's over, as a reminder, we're going to have dinner and it's here. 1507 right, West Canig right. Lane. Any atheist or atheist friendly persons welcome to come down. Um, I think, do we have like a map up on the website where people can see the building and potential parking spaces down the road? And uh, if not, then we'll add that to somebody else's to do list. I'm here to make work for everyone. Park somewhere that's legal and won't get you towed. Yeah. Cool.